Hey there. I'm Cast Iron Katie. I'm Cast Iron Katie. I'm Cast Iron Katie. Doesn't that make a nice sound? So, just a moment. Hi there. I'm Cast Iron Katie. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a dish that has a real wow factor. It is both aesthetically pleasing, it is simple to make, and it's delicious. Of course, I'm talking about pineapple upside down cake. We are going to bake it in a 10 inch Dutch oven. It's an outdoor Dutch oven. And we know that it is because it has the pegs on the bottom, which hold it up over the charcoal briquettes. And it has a lip going around the lid to hold the briquettes on the surface of the lid. So I have all my ingredients all ready to go. To get started, I'm gonna put a quarter cup of butter in the bottom of my Dutch oven. We're gonna cut it into just little pats of butter. And then I am going to put it over by my briquettes, which are getting ready for the bake to melt the butter. Okay. Give that a melt. I won't let it sit too long. Okay. So I have a yellow cake mix in my bag. I'm going to add the ingredients that you would normally add to a yellow cake mix to get it going. Just what's on the back of the box. One third cup of oil. And I have a cup of egg beaters. The grocery store was all out of eggs. And I wanted to add one extra egg to the mix just to give it a little more sturdiness to it. And then the other ingredient that is listed is water. But we reserved our pineapple juice for that. So there is one cup of pineapple juice instead of water. Then... We'll seal it up and you can toss this off to your kids while you go do other stuff. Just tell them to make sure they mix it up really good and don't leave any powder. pretty good. I'm going to get my Dutch oven, see if that butter is melted at all. It set it right on the coals, so hopefully it had a chance to, to melt a little bit. And of course it will melt more whenever we get to baking it. So over the week I got a new cast iron gadget. It's made by Lodge. It's called a 4-in-1 and you can use it as a lid lifter, a bale lifter, you can use it as a um, stand for your pans, or you can use it as a griddle stand. You flip your pan over and then you, the, the handle sits down here and you're able to cook on it like a griddle. I am going to be using that at the end of the video and I'll be using it right now. So I don't want my hot pan to be touching my plastic table. So I will go get my pan and set it right on there. Hopefully it holds it up high enough like I think it will. Oh, look at that. That is a really handy gadget. Okay, our butter is melted. The next ingredient is a cup of brown sugar. Spread that out in the bottom. A 
Okay. Once we get that spread out, then we'll start arranging our pineapple rings in our maraschino cherries. Ah, that's going to be a nice mix there. Okay. As it bakes, it'll spread out on its own. Arrange our pineapples. Put a cherry in the middle of each one. Then we will pour the cake on top of it. Okay, now we have our cake going over the pineapple, brown sugar topping, and the maraschino cherries in each one of the pineapples. We are ready to put the cake on the coals now. So I'll tell you about my safety gear. I have a lid lifter and it lifts our lid so that we stay safely far away from the heat. I have long tongs so I can arrange the briquettes however I need them to make the temperature uh, according to what I need for what I'm cooking. And pot holders. I will have to be using these later on because I'll, whenever I flip it at the end of the video, I'll need to be able to handle the pot. Oh, and closed toed shoes. You don't want to drop a hot coal on your toes. So, we are going to be making this 350 degrees. So to get to that temperature, we're going to start with our lid number, which is 10 in this instance. Subtract 3 and that gets you to your 325 and then add one for every increment of 25 degrees so 10 minus 3 is 7 plus that one more to make 350 I'm making the arrangement about the diameter of the bottom of the Dutch oven Then the amount that we put on top is, again, the reference number there of 10 plus 3 to get you to 325, plus one more to get you to 350. So we're going to put 14 on top. I have my 14 briquettes arranged on the top and of course my 8 on the bottom. And we will come back in 10 minutes and rotate both the Dutch oven and the lid to prevent hot spots. I went to rotate my cake at 20 minutes and I found that it was done. So it's been resting for a little while. And I am going to go ahead and flip it upside down. Then I'm going to leave it on the four and one for probably five or ten minutes so that the topping that is on the bottom has a chance to run down through the cake oh that wind all right so here I'm gonna take the cake and give it a flip and we will come back in probably about five or ten minutes and pop the Dutch oven off. I flipped the pineapple upside down cake probably about 20 minutes ago. I really wanted the butter and the sugar to get down in there. The pan is still a little warm. All right, Let's see what we made. Oh, that is so nice. Look at that beauty. Oh my goodness. I think it'll be easier if I just cut that huge piece right there. Okay. Oh, this is one of my favorite cakes. Turned out so nice. If I can get 
through that pineapple ring. Oh yeah. The cake is a little denser, a little like a pound cake because of the extra egg, but it held together really nice, especially to flip it out by doing that. It, it, it is delicious. It's a phenomenal cake. I highly recommend you give it a shot, especially outdoors whenever you're on a camp out. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And this is Cast Iron Katie. Thanks so much for watching.